question, we're asked to prove the identity that 2 cot 2x plus tan single x is identical to cot of single x, okay? And it tells us that n can't be um, some multiple of pi by 2, uh, x can't be some multiple of pi by 2. Now, when I look at that, I'm thinking to myself, always with these identities, you start off on one side and you show it equals the other. Now, there's nothing much going on on the right-hand side, so I'm not going to start there. Let's start off on the left-hand side. So the left-hand side, I'm actually going to show you this two ways, one in red and one in blue, just to show you there's loads of ways to do these types of questions. So I'm starting off with the left-hand side. So 2 tan... <coughs> <coughs> My apologies. 2 uh, cot of 2x plus tan of single x. Okay, I'm going to keep working with this down the page. Okay, now I'm just going to convert this into what cot means, namely uh, cosine 2x over sine 2x. So this would be 2 cosine 2x divided by sine 2x and I'm going to convert this into what it means which is sine x divided by cosine x. So sine x divided by cosine x. Now you'll notice we have double angles here. We have a double angle here, a double angle here, whereas we've got a single angle here and a single angle. In our final answer we need a single angle. So it seems obvious to convert both of these double angles to single angles. So this here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to into a cosine 2x. The, probably the simplest uh, conversion of that into single angles is cos, uh, cos squared x subtract sine squared x. That's something we should know. Just going to show you the formulas we need to know here. So uh, here, I've just these are the formulas that I always know off the top of my head. And this time I'm using the uh, cosine 2 theta is cos squared theta subtract sine squared theta. So I'm using that straight away. I'm also going to use the sine 2 theta one, which is 2 sine single theta cosine theta. So on the bottom here, I'm going to have um, a 2 sine x cosine x. Here I can't do anything with, I'm just going to leave it as sine x divided by cosine x. At this point, factor of 2 can be divided by top and bottom. And you'll notice here we've got algebraic fractions, we've got trigonometric fractions. In order to add them, I need to make the denominators the same. So what I'm going to do is multiply this one on top and bottom by sine uh, squared, uh, by sine x even. So this would be equal to cosine squared x subtract sine squared x, still over sine x cos, cos x. Whereas this one would now be sine squared x over cosine x sine x. Now the bottoms are now the same. So I can combine the tops, so it would be cos squared x, subtract sine squared x, add sine squared x, all divided by that common uh, denominator of sine x cosine x. Okay, and you can see that the sine, negative sine squared cancels with the positive sine squared, and what do we have? Well we have cos squared x over sine x cos x and one of the coses can be divided from top and bottom so we get cos x divided by sine x cosine x divided by sine x which is equal to uh, cot x which is the right hand side which is what we were trying to show so we got ourselves the cot x now I'm actually just going to quickly show you this in another way I actually think this way is slightly easier again I'm going to start off with the left hand side the left hand side was uh, 2 cot 2x uh, plus tan x. Okay, now uh, in the formula book that we have the double angle formula for tan, we have this formula here that tan of a plus b is equal to um, tan a plus tan b over 1 subtract tan a tan b. Okay, so therefore tan of 2x, which is x plus x, would end up being 2 tan x over 1 subtract tan squared x. So therefore cot of 2x, which is 1 over this, is just this flipped, it would be 1 subtract tan squared x over 2 tan single x. Okay, so I could replace this by this. Now these sorts of things are in my head, I know them quite well. So 2 cot x is going to be this thing here, so it's 1 subtract tan squared x over 2 tan x plus tan x is still there. The 2's cancel 
And what do we have? Well, we have 1 subtract tan squared x over tan x plus this thing. Now, if I want to add this to this, I need to multiply this by tan x on top and bottom. Remember, that's like over 1. So I'd have a tan squared x over tan x. And then I could combine it. And if I combine the tops, I therefore just get a 1 divided by tan x, which by its very definition is cot x, which is the right-hand side. So usually with the, these identities, there are many ways of doing it. I just showed you two there. Whatever works for you, wh whichever is the easiest one for you. But the golden rule is you need to know your identities and you need to have them quickly to hand. So there's something you need to just learn. Anyway, we are asked to solve the following for part B. Now usually in part B, it's using part A. So keep that in mind when we're doing this question here and we'll see if we can use uh, the part above. So here was part B. We're asked to solve for x between 0 and pi the following equation, given your answer to two decimal places. Now, that does look familiar because in the first part you showed that 2 cot 2x plus tan x is equal to cot x. So when I'm trying to solve this, instead of solving this, I'm going to simply solve that the cot x is equal to cosec squared x subtract 7. Now, as yet, that still doesn't look great, but I need to know my formulae. Now, there are some formulae I need. So here are the formulae that are always in my head, and I sh should know how to link a cosec squared with a cot squared, etc. Now, um, this is the formula I'm going to use. I'm going to use cot squared plus 1 is equal to cosec squared theta. I can replace this cosec squared here with cot squared plus 1, and then I get everything with cots in it, and I'll be able to solve it. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, get rid of that. I'm going to use this identity, so tell the examiner what identity you're using. I'm using the, the identity that cot squared x add 1 is, is the same thing as cosec squared x. So therefore, I can say that cot x is going to be equal to this thing here, which I'm going to write as cot squared x add 1, and then take away 7. So, uh, bringing everything to one side, I'm going to have that 0 is equal to cot squared x, subtract cot x, and here we'd have subtract 6. Factorising, I would have cot x in one bracket, a cot x in the other, and I would have a negative 3 and a positive 2. So, my two possibilities are that cot x is equal to negative 2 and cot x is equal to to 3. Now cot is 1 over tan, so this means that tan x must be the reciprocal of this, which is negative a half, or tan x, in this case, the reciprocal of 3, which is a third. And I'm going to get two sets of solutions from these, and I just have to find the ones um, to two decimal places between 0 and pi. So calculator out, inverse tan of negative a half, like that, and we get negative um, 26.5. Now, I'm actually, let's just have a quick look here. Um, it's between 0 and pi. So here's what the tan graph looks like. The tan graph looks something like this. So that's between um, pi by 2, and that's negative pi by 2 here. And the tan graph starts off here again and goes up here uh, to pi, like that. So one of my answers was x is therefore equal to negative 26 point, uh, 26.6 degrees, which is somewhere here. Uh, sorry, I'm doing it in degrees and I shouldn't. I should do it in a radian. So sorry, back to the calculator and change the setup here. Back to radians mode. Work that again. It's zero point, negative 0 0.46. So negative 0 0.46 x is negative 0 0.46, which is going to be here. And I can see that there'll be another answer here like that, which is going to be uh, 0 0.46 subtracted from pi. So the other answer I'm looking for is pi subtract 0 0.46. This is not in my range. This one will be. So what I do is I say um, pi, and I combine it with that answer, and I will get 2.68. Um, so my x answer here 
would be 2.68 radians. What about this one? Well, x is going to be the inverse tan of a third. Calculate out inverse tan of 1 over 3, like that. And I get myself the answer 0 0.32. So x is equal to 0 0.32. Uh, three, two radians like that, and that would be somewhere here. And you can see that there's no other place between zero and pi you get that answer. So my two answers: x is equal to zero point three two radians, or two point six eight radians. Both of these to two decimal places, and we're done.